In this video, let's see the first numerical problem which is based on the topic of order of a matrix. We have already seen in the previous video what do we mean by order of a matrix and also we know how to count the number of elements and list them. So this is the first basic numerical problem on the understanding of order of a matrix. Let's read what the question has to say and let's get started with the solution. The question says compute the order of the matrices and list the elements. This is a very basic problem which is an understanding based problem. So there are three numerical problems, there are three matrices given. Matrix is named as the first one as A, the second matrix is B, the third matrix is named C. So we are basically supposed to find two things in the question. The first is the order and the second thing that we are supposed to find is what? We are supposed to list the elements, that's it, right? So let's get started with the first one. So the first one, as you can see, is what is the matrix A and the matrix A has sin x and cos x given in front of me. Now order you know is what? It is m into n, the number of rows into number of columns. What is m? That is what is rows? How many rows here? Row number 1 is sin x, row number 2 is cos x. What are rows? Again I am telling you the horizontal things. So this is row 1, this is row 2, so there are 2 rows. What about n? n is what? n is the columns. How many columns? Only one column. Vertical, one column. So what is order? Order is what? Order is m into n. So it is m into n or m by n which is 2 by 1. So this is the order. The first answer is obtained. The second task was to list the elements. Listing the elements means A11, A12 and so on. But first of all, the order is 2 by 1. Let's write the order here, 2 by 1. Now, what is this thing? Sin x is the first row, first column element. See, this is R1, this is R2 and this is only C1. You know this, right? So it is the intersection of R1 and C1. So R1, C1 means A11. So A11 is my sin x. Again, row 2 and C1. So second row, first column means A21 and not A12, right? A12 means first row, second column. A21 means second row, first column. Always right row first. So this is second row first column. Second row first column is what? It is cos x. So it is cos x. This is how you list it. This is the simple method. This is a simple answer. Understood? So first part is done. The second array is what? Let's see. The second array is array B. Array B has how many rows? This is only one horizontal thing. So it is only one row. So it is R1. How many columns? First column, second column, third column. So it is C1, C2, C3. Remember? Now, number of rows is denoted by M. So M is how many rows? One row. N is columns. How many columns? One, two, three. So it is three. What is the order? Order is M by N, so it is 1 by 3, not 3 by 1. 3 by 1 means 3 rows, 1 column, right? Order is denoted. Next task was what? Next was to list the elements. How many elements are there? 1, 2, 3. How to name them? First row, first column. See, what is the value here? It is 5. How is 5 obtained? Intersection of first row first column. So A11 is what? It is 5. Again I am repeating. First row, first column is 5. What about this thing? It is minus 5. It is what? It is first row and second column. So it is A12. It is minus 5. Right? And what about the third thing? A13. Why? Because first row and third column. First row and third column is H. So it is H. Right? So you listed the elements, you came to know the order. 
second example done now the third example i request you to pause the video and work upon it yourself and later on resume the video and check your answer with this right now how many rows let's see this is the first row this is the second row this is the third row so rows means m which means 3 how many columns first column second column third column so again what is the value of n n is 3 what is order order is m by n so order means m by n which means 3 by 3 do not speak it 3 into 3 right it is by 3 by 3 order done what is left listing the elements so list the elements one by one these are rows and columns no this is r1 first row r2 second row r3 third row the vertical 100 is first column the vertical 010 is second column the vertical 001 is third column right now pick the elements one by one picking the first element one how is this obtained what is the row number the first row the first column so it is basically a11 a11 is what it is one move about the thing number 2 what is the row number zero has first row and second column you see that so it is a12 is zero similarly what about a13 now you people tell me first row third column first row is what here third column is here again it is zero right now you people are following now what about a21 a22 a23 A two one means second row first column. What about the second row zero one zero row? What about the first column this? So it is zero only. A two two A two two means second row second column. So second row second column is what it is one. A two three A two three means second row third column which is zero. similarly quickly let's write a31 a32 a33 a31 means third row first column third row first column is zero first column is zero a32 third row second column third row second column is zero a33 third row third column is one now one important thing this is done listing is done count let's count 3 here 3 here 3 here 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 3 is 9 how many things are there nine only no how because order when multiplied gives me the number of elements so 3 3s are also nine again let's come here and note things i know that 2 ones are is 2 so number of elements should be 2 how many elements are there one is sin x one is cos x 2 similarly another example another example what is the order 1 by 3 1 by 3 means 1 into 3 1 into 3 is 3 so how many elements should be there 3 how many are there 5 minus 5 h 3 so in this video we saw a basic numerical problem illustrating the order and the listing of number of elements in the next video we'll be seeing some more variety of question on the same topic of order